So before we start, I just want to say a big thank you to the 400 plus people who have subscribed to my channel. We just crossed the 400 uh, subscriber mark. Without you guys, I wouldn't be making, hopefully, the better films time after time. So thank you all 400 and I think this morning six. Literally, every time that number goes up, it gives me the incentive to do more. So I hope you enjoy this. So over the past 20 years of living in Courcheval, Courcheval, I can say, has had some very crazy ideas. Some of, the, uh, some of these have been crazy good, and some of these have been crazy bad. Invariably, some of them have been crazy bad guano. However, here is my list of the top five craziest things that Courcheval has ever like, hosted, from crazy good to crazy bad. And of course, the start of our list are Courcheval and the statues. Ten years ago this year, ten years ago, Courcheval decided to cover the resort in weird pieces of art from like pieces from Dali to what are now famous animals from Richard Orlinsky. And you know what, when, on the first couple of years, it took a bit of getting used to. The large red gorillas of Richard Orlinsky were a bit of an acquired taste. However, nowadays, you see them dotted all over the mountain and everybody loves them. So, you know what, number five, crazy good. Back in 2011 to 2014, Kurschfeld decided to go all Sam Moritz and decided to have a horse polo tournament. I'll put the auntie port behind me. Uh, I guess by the fact that it lasted only about three or four years, that it, uh, well, it didn't last, of course. However, my lasting impression of it was, of course, on the last year when I have a feeling that a horse had to be euthanized on the field, which probably wasn't the best way of ending such a tournament. So I'd have to say that this was more crazy than bad. Behind me is the Kosovo ski jump. And throughout the winter, people fly off that as normal. That's not the crazy part. In the summer, Courchevel hosts one of the Red Bull 400 events, which, as the name suggests, is a 400 meter race up the ski jump, which is absolutely bonkers. But it's also a very, very good idea. And to watch people who are fit, collapse in heat when they get to the top, just shows how difficult it is. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to watch the video that I made last year, link is in the top right hand corner. And take it from me, someone who's carried camera equipment up and down that hill, it is bloody steep. Anyway, let's go from crazy good to number two. So of course that brings us to the second craziest thing Courchevel has ever done. Courchevel has had a fascination with boats, which considering you are about two kilometers above sea level, seems slightly strange in, yeah, in the crazy department. Anyway, for about two years, Courchevel went and hosted a, uh, a yacht company who shipped up a yacht up to Courchevel where they then buried the trailer in the snow, made it look like the boat was in water, built a key, all that good stuff. It's as crazy as it sounds. However, of course, if you were trying to drive up the hill and you got caught behind this thing, uh, yeah, it proved why boats work better at sea level than they do up at altitude. Anyway, so yeah, that, that, I think that's tame in comparison to what's number one. 
So let's move from crazy bad number two to, uh, well. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. The pyramid. Pyramid had to be number one. Whenever you start a sentence with blank built a pyramid, you know the story is gonna get pretty stupid. Even if you said Egyptians building the pyramids. Anyway, this, I'm going off on a tangent. Anyway, back in November of 2014, Courchevel built a pyramid. Yeah. Now, this, this, this story goes on and I think there's a lot of hearsay, but I think it all sounds about right. So anyway, right behind me in November 2014, Courchevel built a pyramid. From what I understand, originally that pyramid was meant to look like the pyramid outside the Louvre. However, probably like the Egyptians, as soon as you started building it, then they suddenly realized everything was going a bit wrong. So having like a framework illuminated went completely out the window. And in the end, it was covered in a like advertising hoardings on all side. They were advertising LVMH, uh, Dior, etc. You know what? The premise of building a pyramid is not that bad. You have a space inside which would be great for exhibitions and so on and so forth. However, it started out well. When they opened it at the beginning of the season, McLaren, Tag Heuer, uh, Yacht Company, plus somebody else, all like we're exhibiting stuff inside. McLaren had their new range of sports cars, a beautiful old McLaren F1, uh, like one of their prototypes, absolutely priceless. Anyway, sorry, I'm a car geek. Uh, it was literally amazing. It's some nice shiny watches. Uh, and after about two, two weeks, it was empty. And it was empty for the rest of the season. Then it turned out that the guy who built it hadn't really been paid. And so at the end of that season in July, the pyramid came down about as fast as it went up. Yeah, so, so yeah, the pyramid story. I think you will agree that's probably the craziest thing Kushal has ever done. If of course you've enjoyed this video, you want to support the channel, drop me a sub down below, drop me a like. If you think Kushal's done something even crazier, give me a comment and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.